Hey, good morning. It was Rich Dizzy Homestead. Uh, <laughs> getting a video of this little calf. He's out to uh, cows around here getting a bite to eat, and he's uh, kind of killing time waiting for everybody to get done. What are you doing here, little man? Hmm? He's a new rock star. I had uh, tried another video of him yesterday and it uh, didn't work out too well. It was uh, clouds rolled in, we had thunderstorms roll through. And lo and behold, so, are you taking life easy? Hmm? You didn't leave much room to get your butt down, did you? Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, uh, yesterday he was enjoying being uh, scratched and petted. We'll see if uh, today he... Yeah. Your mama's been slacking on her job here. She's got dirt on your head. Yeah, she needs to get you cleaned up. Now well, that's a close up for you folks. What do you think? Doing okay? Hey, you too jumpy here. What's the story with that? Uh, they haven't been too, uh, too terribly high strung the past couple of days because they've been coming into the, we've had a lot of rain in the area. And they've came into the barn at night. You okay? Hmm? Looks like you're uh, well fed there, pal. Yeah. yeah. Got a big old bulging belly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you like to be scratched, don't you? Yeah. yeah is that the spot? Hmm? Yeah, you know, it's a... Just had Mama turn around here and take a peek at me to see what I was doing with her calf. <laughs> and, uh, apparently didn't get much of a rise out of her. That's what I was trying to tell you about cows. There are times when... Uh, I'm not bothering you yet. Just go ahead and eat. Uh, there are times when they have absolutely zero problem with you uh, cutting your calf and spending time with it. And then there's other times they just might, but she seems to be pretty relaxed. Yeah. But it's also something like right now I'm down on one knee, so I'm uh, filming the calf as I... <laughs> Keep an eye on Mama just to look for any signs of her getting agitated. Oh my goodness, did the chicken scare you? But yeah, he's doing really, really well. Looking real good. Growing like a little weed. So, he still wonders what's uh, all the hubbub about the trough. Now he's just over here getting your face scratched. I guess I wasn't scratching the right spot, huh? Is that it? But anyway, yeah. <laughs> uh, these guys are uh, in a much better mood the past couple of days. Uh, I think primarily because they haven't been out uh, having to deal with the coyotes. They've uh, come into the barn. And... Uh, or trying to take life a little easier. But I thought at least I could get a get a shot or two of this little calf and get that out to you. Otherwise, he's hiding over there with Mama right now. And hopefully you can see him okay. But, uh, yeah, good-looking little boy. He's going to do just fine. Um, <laughs> he's over there loving on his mom. Oh, he's using mom for a scratching post. That's what he's doing. Let's see if I can move around and get a better shot here. Figures a little Dickens to stop it once I got around over here and got him back on the camera. He was uh, using, using mama as a scratching post for his head. <laughs>
down here next to mom. That way you won't be likely to bother me. There you go. Mom will, mom will lower see me. But uh, yeah, he was getting his little head scratched uh, yesterday afternoon. And, uh, you know, tolerated a little bit of it today, so uh, he's a pretty good boy. And that's one of the things you want to do with uh, your large livestock is when they're little like this, if you're planning on having them around for a while, just uh, make sure that you spend time with them. Uh, pet them a little bit, let, let them know that... Uh, Life is good. And uh, then when they get as big as these two clowns, you're not having problems with them. Uh, Maud still likes to come up in the evening and get her head scratched like she's uh, still uh, that size. <laughs> so. But uh, a lot of times she'll get into a a situation where she, when as a calf she would come up and rub her head on my leg and kind of push against me and uh, yeah when she's this big of a girl you better brace yourself because here we go <laughs> she's uh, kind of makes me lean back into her just to stay on my feet but uh, yeah she's my baby girl right there Started out about that size right there, and uh, and now she's pushing four years old, and uh, just a just a beautiful cow. I mean, all kidding aside, uh, she's a good-looking little Brangus girl. Uh, Charlie Brown, that poor guy, he's a he's a Hereford Brangus mix, and. <laughs> When he was first born, first a uh, newborn calf, he looked like a Hereford. But uh, as he's gotten older, uh, a lot of the black is beginning to pop out on him. So uh, he's, he's got a different look to him altogether. Kind of looks like a coat of many colors going on. But, uh, they both seem to have calmed down. Anyway, I thought you'd like to see this little guy. Uh, been hard getting any shots of him because usually when they're up here we've either had severe thunderstorms with little light in the barn or uh, it's been dark so uh, a little hard to get a get a good shot of him but uh, he's a pretty kid looks a lot like his mom in her face so he should make a fine looking bull Yeah, I'm talking about you. What do you think, a little bit? Hmm? I just don't understand what this trough thing's all about. But uh, Mama's putting on weight pretty good. Uh, right after she had him, you, know, you could really see the see the ribs in this girl, and uh, yeah, she's filling out real nice. I usually don't give them much. Uh, high protein feed, but uh, try to get weight back on her. I needed to because uh, I didn't want her going into winter being scrawny, you know. So, anyway, that's uh, pretty much where I'm at with these guys. There's the baby boy, he's nice and comfy and enjoying life. Uh, just a cute little rascal, and uh, fat as a butterball. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Start calling you Tubby. Yeah. Send you down to Cherish down at Hope's Homestead. She put you on a liquid diet. So, man, I'm on a liquid diet. You're just fine. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> he's a mess. Uh, earlier this morning, I was out working and, uh, 
getting chickens fed and things of this nature. And this little guy was just in flat out runs everywhere he was going out in the pasture, he was just having a ball. Um, they were all, uh, all right, you two. Come get in there and start fighting over feed. Yeah, neither one of these are starving. Yeah. Oh, I see. Charlie Brown's holding it all down there on the end. Yeah. He's pushing your way into it. But anyway, these are uh, a pair of really laid-back cows now the past couple of days. Uh, like I said, they've been coming in and sleeping in the barn. And they've left me just piles of little pre-Christmas presents. And it looks like I need to get in here and... Uh, <clears throat> Do what I do best, shovel the manure. <laughs> yeah, boy, these kids can leave it for you. Anyway, like I said, main thing was I uh, wanted to get a chance to show you this little calf, and uh, he's, uh, he's a pistol. Just a bundle of energy, man. I'll tell you what, he's one of the more active calves I've seen around here. Um, all of them get to doing their little running and bouncing and playing, but this guy is just about non-stop. He'll uh, every now and again lay down, take his little power nap, and get back up and get right back to it again. So he's doing real good. Chickens keep spooking me, which I don't understand. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he's a... Uh, that's that's mama right there. She's a she's a heck of a girl. She just uh, turns out beautiful beautiful calves. Unless you have like a Charlie Brown, where a neighbor's bull gets across the fence and it gets a little colorful. But uh, other than that, it's pretty much the calves she turns out all the time. And uh, he looks to have. Yeah, he's going to end up with a broad snout like his mama, which is real good for him for as far as uh, usually tells you that they're going to do well on grass because they don't have to work too hard to get a big mouthful of it because they've got wide, wide noses. So anyway, <coughs> that's the little man. I'll get out of his way, let him take his nap. I'm probably going to get scoot so I can go ahead and relax all the way and take a little nap here. I got playing to do later. <laughs> anyway, that's a new one. I've tagged him with a little bit, so uh, I'll eventually have to come up with a name for him. But uh, right now, he's just a little bit, just a little bit of a bull. But he sure does like to uh, like to play, and he is grazing. So uh, I know his rumens are working, and everything's. Uh, Everything's functioning on the old boy, and uh, just a bundle of energy, so yeah, he's doing real well. Hopefully he gets a little more weight and size on him here before the real cold weather sets in. Anyway, that's all from here. This is Rich from Tennessee Homestead, and we will talk to you later.